that collective experience being in the dark with an audience is a, is still a, um, a very s special one. Um, but in terms of um, uh, you know small screen, big screen, um, it, it doesn't feel the experience of doing it. Uh, it really doesn't feel any different. I mean, we 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 have sets. We use the same equipment, um, and uh, and the work on television over the over the really over the last I would say ten years has just been um, extraordinary in terms of uh, you know writing and directing and acting. There used to be a snob. There used to be this sort of snobbery. Thing you know, you were in the in the maybe I don't know maybe fifties, the sixties, the seventies, where people were sort of like you know, well we're we're movie actors and you're television actors. There really isn't there really isn't that any any anymore. It's just a complete crossover with with writers, directors, actors. Yeah. Considera que hoy en día lo que se hace en cine y televisión yeah, definitely. I think um, the two have merged, haven't they? And the production values, especially on this TV series, are filmic in their size. And, you know, sometimes we work in this very big studio. It's like a big film set. I mean, you know, a, a, a feature film set. And we don't feel... I don't feel in any way constrained by the fact that it's going to be for television. Um, good work and good material and yeah. that is doesn't matter if it's on the big screen small yeah. screen or on the stage yeah exactly yeah. and also now television companies are making movies you know Netflix and Apple and Amazon they're submitting films for Oscar uh, television programs and making films on television that are, can then be seen in cinemas and it is it's all becoming as you said, one big melting pot. Sin duda, Slow Horses eh, tiene un gran éxito por por sus fuertes conexiones con con la política y con la política actual. Eh, esto le llamó la atención a la hora de aceptar estar en en este proyecto. Yeah, I mean, I think Mick has deliberately nodded to various characters that, as you say, are very present and. I use the word political with a small p, but you know, Judd definitely, I think he was modeling on Boris Johnson, wasn't he? Judd. Yeah. And um, we'll go on to take the piss, I think, with that character that Sam West plays quite brilliantly. Um, and, you know, he's, he's drawing on present time as well as referring to the past and subverting what we assume. Ustedes eran fans o habían leído las novelas de Mick Heron en las que se basa Slow Horses. I have not was not familiar with them before um, before doing the show. Od oddly enough, my mother-in-law was really. Yeah, when she said, "Oh God, I love those books." Um, uh, yeah, Giselle's mum had read them. <laughs> Um, and is rereading them, in fact, and loves the show. But uh, no, I wasn't familiar with the with the books when we started. 